Good morning, world, or evening, night, good night, world. <laughs> How are you? How are you doing? Um, this is another episode of Third Eye Sifes. Um, I'm your host Natalia, and this is an ep- this is an episode. <laughs> this is a podcast um, where you know what? I don't even know anymore. We talk about stuff that is it true? Is it not true? Who knows? Um, we like to talk about esoteric knowledge, self-improvement, self-development, um, self-realization. These are all, you know, they have the word self in the beginning, but, um, they're pretty different words. I mean, I don't know about self-improvement, self-development. I mean, that's pretty much, I mean, you improve yourself and then you develop yourself. I mean, it sounds like it could be the same. It could be different. Um, but we cover it all, guys. We cover it all. Um, and we also talk about a bunch of weird stuff too. So if you're down, uh, it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool podcast. So, so check out the rest of the episodes, but for the rest of you, welcome back. Thank you for, for listening. Um, I am always deeply appreciative of everyone who does listen. Um, this is another fantastic episode. You want to know why? Because I'm sick. No, I don't have the COVID, but, um, I I am sick. I don't. Well, I, okay. I'm not gonna say I don't have COVID because I honestly like I just got sick. Um, maybe like yesterday or two days ago. Um, okay. Well, two days ago. So I started with a sore throat. Um, so did my boyfriend. But I I don't think you know honestly I don't think it's COVID. I think I just have a cold because usually I get sick when like the seasons change when it starts getting colder and it is getting colder now. Um, so I started with a sore throat then i started kind of coughing a little so now i'm just coughing and i have a sore throat um but it's not even sore it's just itchy i have an itchy throat and i'm coughing and that's it hold on i'm gonna turn off my heater because it's pretty freaking hot okay well yeah but if i do get covid guys you get the first dibs to listen to me die well okay no (laughs) i highly doubt i'll die um family if you are listening to this i'm not gonna die don't worry um but anyways i'm i'm doing all right i'm doing all right guys i'm drinking some some hot lemon water (sighs) trying not to breathe too much on this microphone but then again i'm the only person who breathes on this microphone so you know what who cares how are you guys doing? How are we doing? I should really make a checklist on um, our self-care checklist. Come on, guys. If you if you have your self-care checklist, whip it out. Whip it out. Um, what do we have on here? Drinking water. Are you guys drinking water? Are you guys drinking good water? You know what I did the other day? This is crazy, okay? I did this yesterday. I boiled water um, because there's something called jal neti. And this is something that's done in India. Uh, I don't know if I I don't want to say it's Ayurvedic, um, but it's like a little pot, and you're supposed to put sterile water. If you guys know know what neti is, Um, oh, gotta drink some water. I should have brought some. Oh, I do have some cough drops. I don't want the first thing I eat in the morning to be cough drops, though. I mean. We gotta work with what, 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 oh my gosh, (laughs) we gotta work with what we got here, um, and we got some, we got some ludens, you know what, man, it took me an hour, sorry to change the subject, it took me an hour to pick these, okay, it doesn't take me an hour to pick these cough drops, but it was between these, because I knew these taste good, and then, like, actual ones that make my throat feel better, and I should have picked the ones that actually make my throat feel better, because these just taste good, honestly, okay, so anyways, I was boiling water for the neti pot because you're supposed to use sterile water. Now, if you don't know what neti is, you put water in a in a pot. It's like a little teapot, and you put like salt in it. Not just any salt. I have like cer- uh, a specific salt for for it. Um, you you put some salt in it, and then it's supposed to be warm, but sterile. And then you put it in like your nose, and you pour the water into your nose, and you let it. Well, into one nostril and then you let it come out of the other nostril and then you do it like the opposite way like the opposite nostril and then you let it come out of the other one and it clears up your sinuses and it's a super good uh technique that if you guys are interested just look up jalneti 
I literally bought my pot off of Amazon. I bought a little kit. It comes in a little pot. Um, and it comes with the salt. It also comes with like a nasal cleaner too. So if you need like... I mean, not a nasal cleaner. It's like a cooling. I think it's like if you're sick. I've only used the salt. But anyways. Um, it's supposed to be really good for you. Sorry, I'm like sucking on this cough drop while I'm here. Um, send me send me get well gifts, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and Christmas gifts. <laughs> um, but anyway, so um, I was boiling the water for it to make it sterile. So to make water sterile, you have to boil water for over. I think it's just that over ten minutes on it, but I think I boiled it for like twenty minutes. But anyways, I was boiling this water, and then I did it before. This is the second time I did it, and I boiled the water and I put it in the the jar like to cool off so i moved it from the pot into the jar to cool off and then there was like this white residue all in the pot and i was like what the heck is that and then there was some leftover water that didn't fit in the jar so i just put it in a glass and then i let the jar and the glass sit um and then you know how when you 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 put like hot water in something and it's kind of like cloudy well it was kind of like that one kind of though not really though it was pretty clear when i put it in the in the um in the jar because i I was boiling it and but even so there was i'm sure there was like still stuff in it because it all settled to the bottom in the glass and when i picked up the glass all of the stuff that settled to the bottom like moved to the side and it was like super white it was like a bunch of stuff that settled to the bottom i was like what the hell and it was like the same white stuff that that coated the pot so like what the hell is that is that fluoride or like all the shit that's in our water it sucks like we're literally drinking if you drink out of sink don't drink out of the sink guys it's horrible what i did hear though is that if you were to drink i don't do this but this is what i heard if you drink distilled water for like a week like only distilled water um it like cleans your system out or something like it's super good for you i heard this from um there's this page i follow it's called uh well the other page that they i don't know i think it's called sun of lightning and then they have another page called o- oro liquid gold because oro liquid gold is like that person's company and it's like these drops of like these drops of whatever that you put in your water to drink And it sterilizes your water instantly. I don't know it sterilizes, but cleans your water instantly and adds a bunch of minerals and nutrients to it. So your water is, like, super good for you. I think it alkalines it. I I honestly don't know. But apparently it's super good for you. So that's where I heard that from, like, um, that if you drink distilled water. I read it in the comments. He was, like, replying to somebody. He was like, dude, try, try drinking distilled water for a week. It's so good for you. It cleans out your system. I was like, what? But I haven't tried it. I only drink spring water for some reason. But I don't know. I'm down to try it. Try it with me, guys. If you're going to try it, DM me on Instagram. My Instagram's Natalia of Earth. And then tell me if you guys try it. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, um, the, that was my little water rant. So are you drinking good water? I think that's so important. Especially if you guys don't know about fluoride. I mean, a lot of people who like to be on the trendy spiritual path <laughs> know about fluoride. And fluoride is in our water, it's in our showers, it's in it's in a lot, it's in our toothpaste. If you if you buy toothpaste with fluoride in it. And fluoride collects in your pineal gland. Is your pineal gland or your pituitary gland? I never know what the Oh, come on, Haku. Just like being loud. Not even just being loud, just just being bad and like knocking stuff over. Um, yeah, I literally don't. I I always get confused. Like, what the hell? I mean, the pituitary gland and the pineal gland. Why is fluoride bad? Wow, it's bad for the thyroid too. Interesting. Bad for the. I'll just type in pineal gland because I don't know if that's pineal gland or pituitary gland. It is a pineal gland. So anyways, 
it builds up in the pineal gland and it, it calcifies so it kind of just stays there and like like hardens it just like it just collects there and your pineal gland is aka your third eye um in order for you to awaken your third eye or to see through your third eye you have to decalcify it because that fluoride is not helping you so that's why we always say stay away from fluoride if you can get a water filter for your shower the water you drink and buy non-fluoride toothpaste and then if you go to the dentist tell them you want stuff with as little fluoride as possible um now i don't use fluoride on my toothpaste um i don't have a f filter for my water because i don't own this house and i'm also moving soon too guys oh my gosh another thing but i don't know if i were to get my own house and i know i'm gonna stay there for a while I'll definitely put a filter on my on my stuff um have you guys ever heard of kanjin water it's like this machine that you put your water in and then it alkalines it but i think it alkalizes it like to 12 or like ph 12 or something and that's super high like you don't need that high of water that that will actually probably destroy your stomach honestly um so the whole alkalining water thing it might be a false trend like not a false trend as is, it's not trendy but just it might be a lie like it might be not as good for you as i think i've talked about this in another episode um as we may make it seem i think it's just uh well i don't know i honestly i'm not a scientist or anything but they may be uh it could be like um an advertisement for alkaline water companies you know because our stomach is acidic and if we're drinking alkaline water like our stomach's naturally acidic so that it can break down food right so if we're drinking alkaline water and it's in our stomach and our stomach is meant to be acid and there's alkaline water in it our body's going to naturally want to neutralize it so it's it's going to be using a lot of energy and work in order to neutralize the alkaline water that you're drinking in order to neutral like to balance it out so and then I, I think that means it just uh it takes longer for you to digest food because all the energy of your stomach is going into alkalizing i mean not alkalizing neutralizing your stomach acid and not breaking down the food so i don't know this is what i've heard which makes sense but i don't know i think it really depends i mean i think maybe just drink it moderately but i don't know i okay so alkaline diet i think it's really good if you have cancer or if you're trying to clean out your blood system i think it's really good for that what i think that we should be drinking if we don't have any health problems um we should be drinking a neutral ph water nothing lower than 7.5 because that's our uh our neutral ph i believe like seven seven point five okay anyways so i hope you're getting <laughs> drinking enough good water um i hope you're eating healthy fresh foods foods that are frozen and kept over long periods of time packaged food processed foods they have little to no prana or life force energy if you're looking to increase your prana or life force energy i suggest eating foods that are still alive like animals that are still alive no i'm joking <laughs> um like fruits and vegetables fresh fruits and vegetables um preferably organic um and yeah if you don't also don't eat dead animals dead animals have no prana life force energy whatsoever because they're dead and they suffered before they died so you're literally eating that suffering and then bringing that suffering within you so if you eat meat guys and you're wondering why you're depressed um that could be a very strong reason because you everything holds energy and if you're eating something that suffered um and has that still holds that energy within it then you're gonna host that energy within your body and that is true 
<laughs> no, well, I mean, I don't, I'm not a scientist, guys. I'm just telling you what, what I've learned from other people, what I've seen, studied, and experienced for myself. So anything that you, it was funny, I was talking to my grandmother about this the other day, um, actually yesterday, anything you hear on this podcast, please don't take, don't take my word for anything always question everything and do your own research please like even if i sound like i know what i'm talking about i only sound like i know what i'm talking about because i hear these things from multiple sources um and i study a lot of ancient teachings and philosophies and spirituality so i'm just telling i'm I'm just reiterating things that i've studied and learned so you don't have to study and learn no you do have to study and learn but it's kind of like those youtube videos where it's like i bought this so you didn't have to (laughs) it's kind of like this like i learned this so you didn't have to um but of course do it for yourself that's the whole journey of it exploring for yourself taking what matches with you and leaving what doesn't matter to match with you if i say something you're like that doesn't sound right if i say something okay first of all if i say something and you think this doesn't sound right please let me know like absolutely don't take it with you but please let me know too because if it doesn't sound right i'd love to hear your opinion and i also would love to see different points of views and i love when people change my mind because i am not stuck in my ways it's not like i firmly believe this and i will always believe this and nobody can tell me different like please try to tell me different convince me otherwise because i i would like to know I'm very generally curious. Um, so, drinking good water, eating good foods. What else are we doing here, guys? Come on, we're, we're taking care of our mental health, uh, giving ourselves some time to rest, giving ourselves some spa days, taking some long baths, lighting candles. Guys, the holidays are coming up. I'm so excited. I mean, it's the 11th today that I record this, then we have the 18th next week, and then we have Christmas. Should I do a Christmas special, or should I just not do anything on Christmas? I kind of want to not do anything on Christmas, but I kind of do want to do something on Christmas. And it's not, it's funny, because my my boss just said this, you know, we're not a, uh, um, we're not a Christmassy, because it's a yoga studio, so it's like, we're, of course we, we're not, like, because christmas has to do with like christianity and catholicism right um so like if we were to celebrate christmas at the studio then it's like only biased towards like christian catholic people or like consumer people who don't care about the religious part of it like me um well i kind of care about the religious part of it but i'm more for the consumer aspect uh, to admit um but yeah there's also hanukkah there's kwanzaa kwanzaa i feel like they just made that up because it's like what is it like a human thing not a human thing but i think it's like a it's not an, i don't think it's an african thing honestly i think it's like a i hate to say black people because come on um kwanzaa let's see i heard it was african but i don't think so oh it is is an african American? okay but african american doesn't mean african african american means american like american but in quotation marks black people um but it's like (laughs) there was some philosophies we'll talk about this on christmas or i'll decide what we're gonna do on christmas but there was one there's like a list of of like each day they celebrate for like 10 days and then each day they have to like celebrate a certain like way of living like or i think so like the first day is like family like appreciating family and then you appreciate family and the second day is like appreciating food and then you eat food or some shit like that um i don't know exactly but it's something like that but there's one of them in there that i'm like what why would they even i don't know we'll go over it though um <laughs> i i don't i honestly don't remember but i remember questioning one of them and like what um but anyways so yeah we're we're a spiritual community guys not a christian catholic community come on come on speaking of communities check out <laughs> the third eye Stives private community i am building it's on facebook um dm me on instagram if you want to join or i have a link in my instagram description um that under the tab it's on my link tree it says community you can join the private group if you listen to this podcast and join a bunch of others who listen to the podcast and we can talk about spiritual self help each other grow um 
and just talk about different topics even topics that i i talk about here like maybe you want me to further elaborate on stuff you'd be like what did you mean by this and you could ask the question on the board and then i'll answer it um i also started mentorship programs for people who know a lot about certain topics um they can actually you can partner with them and they'll mentor you or help you with these topics that they know a lot about or that you may be having trouble with so check it out guys it's called third eye size private community it's a private group on facebook but if you listen to this you are more than welcome to join i will let you in and yeah it'll be super cool so check it out um but anyways so <laughs> there was like a little ad <laughs> um speaking of ads actually uh a word from our sponsors okay so welcome back um just getting into it i hope you guys are well thank you so much for listening uh i did pull some cards for us and we're just gonna get we're gonna get right into the episode so the first card i pulled was really weird um it was it's not really weird but we got the all tied up card now this card this card looks weird i think that's why i said that because it's like this girl and she's tied up like there's like a rope all around her body um but she has like this weird thing on her head she looks like a shark it's like it's like a super like it looks like an egg like she has like an like an egg capsule around her head and then it's like pointy at the top i honestly don't know what the hell that is um but she's all tied up and i think that's the whole purpose of it i don't know why she's wearing that um and the number is 23 so that's the number five card um but all tied up so this means that um somebody somebody in here somebody listening is in a sticky situation or maybe most of you guys are so you maybe feel you may feel tied up with a lot of things maybe there's a lot of stuff happening in your life maybe um you just have so much stuff to do maybe it's like the holiday seasons you have to do this you have to do that you have to buy this you have to buy that so you probably feel all tied up about stuff or you may feel restricted on doing things maybe somebody's holding you back from doing something maybe it's you who are tying yourself up maybe you're holding yourself back from doing something um but what this card is saying is that it's time all these cards are saying it's time to not do whatever this is right if it's like kind of a negative card um so it's saying now is the time to reclaim your power this card is giving you basically the permission to carry on with your life they're like man you've been tied up move on and then you read the card and you're like yeah you're right i swear it got cold fast that's how you know it's cold in the room um so yeah that was that one um so we need to be reclaiming our power if you feel all tied up if you feel restricted by others if you feel restricted by your small group of friends or your big group of friends whatever um your family your uh significant other um so just and it could be you it could be you holding yourself back from stuff it could be you restricting yourself from doing stuff it could be you saying like oh maybe i'll do this next year or maybe i'll do this next week or um oh, i can't do this because i have this to do i have too much stuff to do. And you're the one who's holding yourself back from doing all this stuff you have the perfect capability to accomplish anything you'd like and the, any, the only thing that's holding you back is yourself even if it is others if others are holding your back that's you allowing others to hold you back um and then the next card i pulled because i i just i asked for an energetical reading so the first card i was like okay what what do my listeners need to know and i was like somebody needs to know this but um then i was like okay what's the energetical reading and the reason why i asked this is because we're in the middle right now of kind of a major transformation or portal so this portal started on i believe the 9th um on tuesday or like the 8th I thought it started, I think it started on the 9th, the 8th or the 9th, um, and now, and then we have 12, 12 coming up, so we have the 12 coming up tomorrow, Saturday, oh my gosh, 12, 12, guys, I think we should talk about 12, 12 today, what do you think, um, so anyways, the whole week, oh, it might have started at the beginning of the month, honestly, I don't know, guys, you know, I'm not an astrologer, or all that stuff, um, but there are people who are, so check those people out, um, and s- suggest people to me and ask them to collab with me we could do a whole we could do a whole (gasps) astrology the spider oh (laughs) 
I'm kind of scared, guys. So there's this, sorry to change the subject, but, but there's this daddy long legs that lives in my room. He lives in the corner, like the corner of the room. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. He lives in the corner of the room, and like in this corner of the ceiling. And I named him, first I named him Rocky, but then I changed his name to Ganesha. So his name's Rocky Ganesha. And then literally I just turned my head and he's right in front of my face, guys. Like he's not even in the corner of the room. Like he's in the corner because I'm in the corner, but he dropped down from the ceiling. He's not awake though. He's sleeping, but he's hanging upside down. He's literally hanging upside down from a web, like right next to my face, like in the corner of the room. And it's freaking scary because he's big. I know he's not, he's harmless because daddy long leg spiders are harmless. But why did he drop down from the ceiling? That's what I want to know. Anyways, uh, I kind of feel weird now. Anyways, <laughs> so between the 12th and whatever else day, either way, we're in it right now. We're going through a major portal because we're it's the 12 12 portal. And oh, that's what it was. We're in a lunar eclipse time, time frame. So the lunar eclipse that just passed last week, um, last week's episode i did mention the lunar eclipse i think that was the exact day the lunar eclipse happened and between that the lunar eclipse and now we're having a solar eclipse i believe it is on the 15th i'm gonna look it up but we're in the middle of a, a an eclipse portal um solar eclipse let's find out where when it is um december 14th it is monday this upcoming monday so we're in the between a lunar eclipse and a sun eclipse now i honestly don't know what the hell that means like i'm super <laughs> super not like energetical celestial planet person like i don't know what that means i only get my information from people who are those people and then i reiterate what i've heard um so there is a teacher who teaches at the yoga studio that i teach at um she's an akashic record reader and she's also an astrologer so she knows all about the eclipses and everything and she posted this video about it um how we're in this kind of eclipse portal and the energy is super high and i would not doubt it because the energy is so high guys and when i when i say that like it is it freaking is because i swear like you just know when you become aware when you start becoming aware of energy and the way energy flows in your body the way energy flows outside of your body and just meaningful coincidences aka synchronicities we'll do a whole episode on on synchronicities but um when you start noticing these things then you become more aware of how the energy is in your environment right so i've noticed that the energy is really high now we do have 12 12 coming up tomorrow um and 12 12 honestly is a super like significant day for me uh back in what year was it it might have been 2015 it had to have been 2015 on 12 12 20 was it 2015 it was 2015 it had to have been i seriously thought i was gonna die guys i thought i was gonna die and that's why it's so significant to me because that whole well not the whole day but that night I thought I was going to die or somebody was going to kill me. And, you you know, you may be saying, well, she's probably overreacting. But the series of events that happened to me, I guess we'll talk about it since it is 12-12. Um, the, the, the series of events, and that, that was kind of like the beginning of my spiritual journey. I mean, the beginning of my spiritual journey was a while ago, but I was really diving deep into these teachings and practices and all of that and learning everything, really. Um, during this time so i was becoming more aware of synchronicities and numerology and all that um but it was very odd um i actually kind of don't want to talk about it i'm not, I'm not going to talk about it but it, it was just like things kept happening that were very weird and it kept adding up like i was wearing like my favorite outfit like an outfit i would want to die in and then I left my house to go somewhere and this car pulled up in front of me i was like where are you well it wasn't like they pulled up in front of me it was like they were dr driving and then they kind of slowed down oh no they were driving they slowed down and then this girl as they're driving past she screams out the car looking at me and says 
what are you doing where are you going and then they kept going and i was like what but i felt really weird like i was like what the heck and i also felt like the energy was super weird that day like once i walked outside i was like whoa what is this day it feels super weird that's usually how i feel when there's aliens around or like guys aliens exist and i i feel when they're around sometimes and you might think i'm crazy but i freaking do okay um so you so i kind of felt like aliens were around this sounds so crazy to say um i felt like there were aliens around so i was like whoa the energy is super weird like it, it feels ominous that's always how i know aliens are around because the energy feels super ominous and so i walked outside and i was like whoa this feels weird and then that happened immediately after and i was like what the heck this is weird so then i kept trying to go to where i was going and then they came back around the block and then it was a guy screaming out of the car and he was like he was like what the f are you doing um he's like what are you doing where are you going and i was like what like what? and they were talking to me i don't know if they thought i was somebody else but it was just super weird i was like where am i going so then i'm on the train this is back in new york i guess i will talk about it might as well um on the train and then i see this girl who looks exactly like me guys i saw her exactly like me and it was santa con that day that day so like a bunch of people were on the train dressed up as santa because were, i think it's santa con's like you bar hop dressed as santa i'm not too sure and then there's like a bunch of like deals at the bars i really don't know but that that's what i think santa con is um so she was like dressed up for santa con but she looked exactly like me she was wearing an outfit that i would wear like the shoes and everything i asked her where she got her shoes from um just so i could talk to her like i just i was very curious about her and then anyways i, I got off the the train and i was wearing like i was super into tie-dye at this time so i was wearing my tie-dye vans i had my tie-dye mod sun hoodie i had nails that were tie-dye on guys and i had straightened my hair i strained my hair put on makeup and i wasn't even going anywhere crazy but this would it was like a super cool outfit that i would have loved um i had tie-dye nails on and i felt like i looked super good and then I get to my mom's boyfriend's house and right and i get to his house whatever do whatever i had to do there then i'm getting ready to leave and as i'm saying goodbye this is when it happens just the leading events everything just felt really weird right so i was like all right i'm leaving i'm going back home right when i'm about to leave i'm hugging him goodbye and suddenly i felt like oh the rush felt over me like filled filled me however you want to say rushed over me that this was the last time i was ever going to see him and it wasn't because he, something was going to happen to him it was something that was going to happen to me and i'm saying goodbye to him and then so, like suddenly a rush just felt over me like i and i felt scared i was like whoa this is the last time i'm saying goodbye to him and i felt like it was something that was going to happen to me on the way home so i got scared and i was like uh, I think I'm gonna stay just for a little bit until this like anxiety passes me um, so I ended up staying a little bit longer but as I stayed longer the feeling increased more and more so like I walked outside right to say goodbye and then this feeling rushed over me and I was like okay I think I'm gonna wait inside a little bit more once we go back inside instantly the song here by Alessia Cara comes on now this song at the time was so significant to me because Alessia Carr had just come out um, and I felt so connected to her because I felt like she kind of looked like me. Our hair was very similar at the same at the time. Um, they were it was both short, curly. The song I could relate to immediately. Her life story I could relate to immediately. I just felt so connected to her at that time. And that song wasn't even popular. I had never heard it on the radio before. And it was very significant to me. It, was, it very much represented me and my life at that time. So as soon as I walked in, it was like somebody pressed play as soon as I walked in. And the song came on the radio. And it scared the hell out of me. And I looked at the time and it was like 11-11. And it was like some synchronistic time. And that just increased my anxiety even more. I was just like, oh man, I really am going to die. Like, what the I don't know why. I, I felt, this is the first time I've ever felt like this, guys. Honestly. I've never felt like I was going to die or something was going to happen or something was so scary, like scarily significant in my life. I've never felt like that. Um, so, um, anyways, I, I was super anxious and I was like, oh my God, if I go out there, I'm seriously going to die. And the song played and 
I kept trying to have somebody pick me up. So I, I wrote to my boyfriend at the time and I was like, hey, can you come pick me up? And he literally could not get to me. Like he wasn't like he would, but he was literally unable to. So I asked my mom. She was literally unable to. I asked my dad. He was literally unable to. Like nobody was able to pick me up. So it felt like I was going to die alone. Like nobody was able to come get me. Um it was super scary and my anxiety just kept increasing and i was like there's no way in hell i'm leaving here like i'm way too scared like this is this is too much and i was just sitting there anxious waiting for somebody to come get me and my mom like she was so far from me but she traveled like over two hours just to come get me because i was freaking out and i was crying and i was like man my boy my mom's boyfriend's gonna have to leave to like go to the store or something and that's what's gonna happen like somebody's gonna break in here and kill me like it was literally crazy like i was just coming up with all this stuff because i felt like i was absolutely gonna die that day and so anyways i just ended up like going to sleep and waiting for my mom to come get me and then when she came and got me to go home I felt like that, like, once I woke up, so I took a nap to, like, kind of ease the anxiety, but once I woke up, I felt like the moment had passed. Like, whatever moment it was that I was going to die, it passed, so I was okay. But the feeling was so strong, guys, that it, I don't want to say it scarred me for life, but it definitely impacted the rest of my life. So the next day, I was super hyper aware and extremely grateful that I was still alive because i absolutely felt like i was gonna die i absolutely felt it and it was really scary so now in certain moments i i still have that feeling that comes over me randomly like i'll be walking alone maybe somewhere and then that feeling will rush over me and then i'm like oh man is this how i'm gonna like it's weird i'm like oh shoot is this how i'm gonna die like walking home like walking home or something or i'll be driving in a car with someone and then suddenly we're just driving and then i'll get the rush and then i'm like oh man we're gonna get into a car accident is this how i'm gonna die like it's really weird so like now ever since then i i get anxious sometimes because i i feel this certain type of feeling and it's a very specific feeling um that this could be it this moment could be it so what I do to save my life, <laughs> because this is this is a possibility, this is a thing that you could actually do, um, if you if you believe it. Um, so what I do is I split timelines. <laughs> so in that moment that I feel anxious and I'm like, oh shoot, this is how I'm gonna die, like just walking home, or driving this car. In that moment, I split timelines, and I create the reality of me dying in whatever situation that is, and in by creating it in my mind. I am cre already creating the reality in a different dimension. And then, as I'm walking and, and doing this, and okay, that exists now, I'm putting myself in the reality where it doesn't exist. So now that that moment of me dying in the situation exists, I'm putting myself in the reality that I don't die and that I still exist. So <laughs> that's kind of what I do in moments like that to kind of calm me. I'm like, oh, well, let me just split timelines real quick and jump through t time loops. There was a cool picture I posted on my Instagram story a while ago. It might be in my phone. I'll probably repost it on the post I, I do if I find it um, for this episode on Instagram. And it's like, you can always jump through time loops or like something like that. And I thought it was really funny because it's kind of like a funny spiritual interdimensional meme um, that I could relate to. So anyways, getting back to the second card that I pulled, guys, I asked for an energetical reading. But anyways, I had to do, look, it's 6.26 a.m. That's my birthday, guys. Um, I feel like that's very significant. So 12.12 is just always a significant day for me, but it is very high energy. And now we're in 12.12, 2020. There's a lot of two energy here. So 12.12, there's two ones that equals two. So there's a lot of number two energy. This entire month, actually... Um, of December and even between November and December there has been a lot of number two energy so that's why I asked for an energetic an energetical reading um, from the cards because it is very high energy so the number two is usually related to harmony balance and cooperation it also is a symbol of adaptability consideration faith and relationships the number two is telling you that it is time to look for your own peace and harmony. You should give and receive love because it is our biggest gift in our lives. 
It significance it signifies cooperation, peacekeeping. It's time to embrace your inner peace. So I really like this. Also, two two two. Two 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 oh no, two two two. You may have to make a choice between two ideas, places, or people that you love intensely. Many choices are not obvious or easy, but they are what help you grow spiritually as a person. So there is a very strong connection between this because the card, the energetical card that I pulled is the angel of love card. Now, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 4. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry, I was counting the, because the number is a 49 card. So, the angel of love card, it's saying that love is readily available to you and whether it's a new love interest coming into your life or you opening love within yourself or your love towards others that love is there the the energy the angel of love that is the energy so the energy the energy reading is the angel of love there is a loving energy that is encircling us at the moment at during this time so now the number two energy it has to do with love it has to do with balance and harmony faith relationships you should give and receive love because it is the greatest gift in our lives so it's time to look for your own peace and harmony and that's what the all tied up card says is that you may be holding yourself back but now it's time to look for yourself look towards inward look inward and towards yourself for your own peace and harmony think back to when i said it could be you holding yourself back or if others are holding you back that's you allowing them to hold you back so it's time to look at yourself see your reflection see how are you are treating yourself how are you loving yourself right and i also like the balance balance number two has a lot to do with balance and the energy it was so funny because on wednesday the the teacher that i i mentioned um she does a card reading before her class and the card that she pulled on wednesday was the the harmony and balance card so it was a a male and a female and it had to do with balance and she says between the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse it has everything to do with balance and balancing these energies right we have the lunar and the solar and in between we are coming into balance with both of these energies so it has a lot to do the energy right now has a lot to do with harmony balance looking inwards and finding that sense of love that is readily available to us and not holding ourselves back or allowing others to hold us back so that was the card reading for this week guys um again tomorrow's 12 12 um now 12 12 on high on and on numbers like this or num like days that have um very significant numbers as such as well as today because today is 12 11 2020 11 1 1 is 2 so we still have that strong 2 energy but in synchronistic numbers like this i always find that it's very easy hold on time for some water i wish it wasn't so cold i also wish i had tissue oh brb guys take a take a water break guys just for a sec Did you guys just hear me blow my nose? <laughs> um, Justin, my boyfriend, he brought a box of tissues because he's also, he's the first one feeling sick. And then he uh, he gave it to me. He was like, oh, it's allergies, it's allergies. I was like, well, I don't have allergies. So how do you explain me, All right? Um, apparently, well, I mean, you, you guys know about my allergy history. <laughs> um, so anyways, what I was saying, I usually find on... Um, on these days that have these these very significant and high energy numbers um it's very easy to practice the law of attraction now if you if you know what the law of attraction is we talk about it in so many episodes guys if you see any episode that says how to manifest law of attraction or anything that has to do with manifesting um i talk about the law of attraction um to sum it up law of attraction is um 
your thoughts create your reality whatever you want to create in your reality you have to create in your mind first so um and that means anything you create anything so if you are just getting into exercising it these days are the best time to do it because the energy is so high that things manifest quicker so the denser the energy the slower and longer it takes for thoughts to travel into the physical reality so it has to kind of move through dimensions from the from the thought realm into the physical realm so the denser the energy the longer it takes and the higher you move up in consciousness the higher you move up in frequencies um the faster things will manifest now we can talk about dimensions and we can talk about how to move up frequencies and if you want to know this ask in the private group um th that's going to be the next best way to ask questions for the episode we can do q a's we can do all of that um so i can do a whole thing on that on how to move up in frequency and how to ha have things uh manifest quicker um but anyways so the higher the energy the faster things manifest so on energy days like this i highly suggest practicing the law of attraction or if you don't even want to consciously practice it please consciously watch your thoughts because things we need to once you become aware that your thoughts create your reality you're gonna want to watch your thoughts more because what you're thinking is gonna create your reality so if you if you keep thinking about something you don't want it's probably gonna happen because you keep thinking about it whether you keep saying i don't want this to happen i don't want this to happen either way you're still thinking of that thing it doesn't the universe doesn't know i don't want it just knows the subject of what you're talking about i feel like i don't want to get sick i don't want to get sick all here is get sick get sick get sick so it's gonna make you freaking sick and you're also gonna drive yourself crazy with that <laughs> um but anyways watch your thoughts on these days i remember it was this it might have been it was 2016 and i think it was ele either 11 11 or 12 12 one of these days right the energy was so high that literally everything i would say it would just instantly happen like it was so weird it was just constantly happening like i would say something and then there it was it was like in a split second it wasn't even like it was insane it was like i was like what the like what is what is today like what is this day and it was so funny because i crashed a car that day it was like i was in the car i was like imagine i just crash and then i crashed like literally right after that that's just one of the examples that happened that day but it was crazy and i was just like oh my god i like i literally need to watch what the hell i'm saying what i'm thinking because it was happening so fast so i feel like these days are the best days to definitely watch your thoughts i always say that last year on 12 12 if you look at my profile i was like hey happy 12 12 like winky faces i was like Phew. basically like watch your thoughts because you never know what's gonna happen um so we do have that coming up tomorrow so or if you're listening to this on 12 12 happy 12 12 watch your thoughts be conscious be aware and manifest great things guys i believe in you um so i mean look at us we're already at 48 minutes i honestly uh didn't have a plan for this i have tons i have a list of tons of things i could talk about on these episodes but i do love to have a full out plan for you guys so to sum up this episode we have the energy of 12 12 tomorrow we're in this middle of this eclipse portal um and then of course the card reading so we're being surrounded by loving energy and we just have to be open to it um and we need to stop holding ourselves back restricting ourselves or allowing others to restrict ourselves um from things and then we also talked a little bit about water we should be drinking i feel like we always talk about water we should be drinking but it's always good to to keep talking about that you know um so either way please feel free to hit me up on instagram my instagram is natalia of earth n-a-t-a-l-i-a -A -A of earth and yeah check out the private group i would love to meet every single one of you um it is on facebook you can find the link in my instagram um called community if not you can it's searchable you can search third eye sifes one word um third eye sifes 
private community. Those are two separate words. So it's three words. Third eye sight is one. Private's another one. And community is the third one. <laughs> um, so yeah, I get. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Um, if you want me to do like a certain Christmas episode, we can talk about Christmas for a little bit. Um, or I can do an episode on Christmas Eve and then release it on Christmas. I don't know. We'll see what we do with that, guys. Um, if you are, if you're Jewish and you celebrate Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah. It started yesterday, I believe, um, December 10th. And yeah, happy Hanukkah. I highly doubt any Jewish people listen to this podcast just because, I don't know, just why would, I don't just, why, if you're Jewish and you listen to this, why do you listen to this? Like, I'm genuinely curious. I'm not, like, judging. I would never judge anybody, but I, I'm just curious like why because the only, the only reason why I'm questioning is because like or just any religious people if you're Christian or Catholic or Muslim like why do you listen because we're very open with spirituality we talk about so many different things so I feel like people who are religious and have a certain religious like religion they're set in their ways not set in their ways but set in their belief systems and everything that they've learned so I'm generally curious if you're part of any of those religions why you listen to this if you're just down to be more open with other religions um or spiritual practices i'm generally curious so let me know um and yeah guys uh i hope you guys have a wonderful week um or rest of your week uh please watch your thoughts on the 12th and enjoy the solar eclipse don't stare at the sun i hope uh, i heard that's pretty bad for you but then again i don't know because i also heard sun gazing is bad for you but i also heard it's really good for you so i don't know i i you just never know um so that was it guys if you have any suggestions for episodes i mean i have a list of tons of stuff we could talk about um and i was gonna do an episode on how to be a good human today i have that ready for an episode um but anything that you want me to talk about please feel free to share with me and i would love to touch on the topic so again you can message me on anchor if you're listening on anchor uh, i believe you can send messages uh, if you have instagram instagram facebook facebook um and yeah uh feel free to check out my blog i write blog posts every monday Nat- uh natalia oh my gosh the writings of natalia.wordpress.com um and yeah check out my stuff guys all right uh we will close this off this episode with a turn on the light i hope i didn't wake up rocky um oh my gosh he's so scary okay well he's not that scary but he looks like he would freaking eat me uh is this even rocky yeah it has to be i don't see him (laughs) Uh, okay anyways (laughs) let's go up to the beginning okay not the beginning but i guess we'll do the first let's do the first the first ooh, the first chapter of the Tao, the first verse uh, uh do i want to do i want to okay let's not do the first one let's not do the first one i'm sorry okay let's do the 21st one let's do the 12th one because tomorrow's the 12th sorry guys i'm so indecisive 12 Ooh. okay ready guys all right the five colors blind the eye the five tones deafen the ear the five flavors dull the taste racing and hunting madden the mind precious things lead one astray therefore the sage is guided by what he feels and not by what he sees he lets go of that and chooses this (laughs) 